hey friends welcome back to my channel uh, this is a continuation of our video in which we deployed a flask application in azure app services uh, this is the devops series and in this video we will be deploying the same application using a yaml based uh, build and deploy pipeline so this is my uh, azure app services uh, it's uh, obviously a python application the stack is python the major version is python 3 and we will be deploying our application which is a sample uh, just a hello world kind of an application and we will be deploying it via yaml based uh, build and deploy pipeline so this is my uh, azure pipeline dot uh, yaml file uh, there is a sample app dot py and there is a requirement of txt uh, if i take you through my yaml uh, so we have got the trigger then the variables we declare where we uh, have our service connections then the build where we have a script which actually creates a virtual environment activates it installs the pip and then installs the requirements.txt then we have a task for archiving the files and the end is a deploy pipeline the deploy task so we pushed our changes uh, this is just a pr we will merge it to main once the pr is complete it should trigger our build so it complains about the build because we do not have the environment created in our deploy pipeline uh, i mean the deploy task we have uh, an, an environment call if we if i look at the error environment fitness geek demo could not be found so uh, we can create that so environment will give you some uh, controls for example you can have uh, approvals at this stage so if you call this environment if you have configured it for some approvals it will go ahead and you know uh, the deployment will not succeed as uh, like it will ask for some approvals before completing the deployment so let's do that again if you see my trigger it is main uh, the first line so the moment a pr gets merged into main it should trigger the build pipeline we'll be going through the yaml at the end of this video so for now just take a look at how we create the entire process you pull your main you have your latest main you create a feature branch you make the changes and since our build yaml had the trigger as main the merge will trigger the build stage build is in progress and it will once it is completed successfully the deploy web app will kick in and let me fast forward this a bit so the build is complete and you will see uh, this warning uh, not a warning uh, like uh, it's asking for permissions so uh, the permit the pipeline needs permission to access this resource which is our environment and once the permission is granted it goes ahead and starts deployment so it will download the artifacts from our build use the python version that we have asked it asked for and then the deploy azure web app task is the same ui task but it is in a yaml format if you want to see uh, the actual ui you know classic task for this you can watch the previous video at the end of this video we will be uh, you know walking through the yaml for this deployment process so let me just fast forward this a bit if you see the package deployment using zip deploy has been initiated and if we go to the web app and you see the deployment center you should be able to see the latest push and uh, it should tell you that uh, you know uh, there is build i mean there's a deployment in progress 
if you see it is connected to Azure repos and yep so the status is uh, successful so it has successfully deployed our application and if I refresh it so yep if you see the changes this is deployed via YAML build deploy pipeline so yeah so we have uh, configured our YAML based build and release pipeline for this Python plus cap so this is my YAML uh, if I scroll up uh, uh, let's start from the top uh, there are some comments and then we start with just you know basic uh, information about our yaml and you can find more about it in the link the first bit is the trigger this is where we tell when this pipeline needs to be triggered so whenever there is a merge on the main this pipeline will get triggered then we declare the variables for our service connection for our project for our python version then the stages under the stages we have the first stage which is the build in build we define our jobs the first job is the build job and the steps the first task use python version then you pass the script and our script is we creating we are creating a you know virtual environment activating it and then installing our requirements.txt the next task is the archive files in archive files you archive the uh, entire zip that you have created above And then you publish that artifact in your build.artifact staging directory. In the next stage, which is our deploy, we will use the package that was created above to deploy into our Azure App Service. It depends on build and the condition is succeeded. So if our build fails, this, uh, this stage will not run. And same then we have jobs the environment and then the tasks so the first task is your Python version and then the task Azure web app the display name is deploy Azure web app and if you see the app type is web app the Azure subscription which is your service connection the app name that we have passed above and the package which was created in the build stage which is our zip file so this is the yaml and that's what we use to deploy our flask app in our azure app service and i hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and do let me know if you have any questions uh, keep supporting and yep thank you thanks a lot